Okay, so today we're going to throw a few more jets in this carburetor. Last time we uh, figured out our intake rocker nut has been loosening on us and it actually got so loose that the rocker itself came off the push rod. So we tightened that back up and now that that's tight, come to realize it wants more fuel because we had 69s and 74s to start with. It was a bit lean. So then we jumped up to 72s and 78s. And that was just a little, you know, it didn't have, you know, it was just a little bit too rich from my senses at the time. Well, then we come to find out that happened. So I fixed that, put 69s back in the primaries just to see. It's way lean now. So uh, it was pretty impressive last time though. So I uh, got good hopes for this. All right, so we're gonna put 72s back in the primaries just to reestablish a baseline because everything prior to this is, you know, lost because, you know, it wasn't all the way tight, you know, you know what I mean. Okay, well, I, I need some tools and we're, we're gonna do that. Don't worry about this. Junkyard Necromancer knows what this is all about, or at least he should if he's prepared. Okay, I need tools. <laughs> Get this going here. Get our little catch can here. You know, it's really inconvenient having this Monte Carlo bar in here. I mean, yeah, stiffen up the shock towers so they don't crack and whatnot, but God, it's just annoying doing anything now with it in here. Okay, got that enough. I'll just set that down there for now. I'm gonna grab you, take you off. Grab you, push you off. And grab you down here if I can. Get you off. It would be so much nicer working on a tunnel ramp. Everything would be way up in the air. Okay. Grab you, grab you, grab you. Grab you, put you off to the side, put you guys right there. Grab this. Grab my jets. Got one. Confirm. 69. Yep. Okay. Put jets right here. Ah, okay. Up here. This is going to be the task at hand here. Sorting through the old jets. We'll see, uh, see how quickly I can manage to find what I need. Usually it always ends up being the last ones I find. And what are you? 77s? No. 74s? No. 74? No. I wish. I would have had two of them already. 77s? No. Ah, 72. There's my one. Okay. You can kind of tell by how much wear or uh, 80s. No. You can tell by that one. I gotta look for uh, one of these darker ones. It won't be one of the shiny ones. What are you? 76? No. 76? No. God, I'm finding all the pairs. 80? No. What in the... Where are you? 84? No. I think that's what I ran when I did uh, E85. I think I had 84s in the front and I had 90s in the back. 71? No, it's close, but not quite what we... I'm telling I'm telling you. We're all, 84. No, it's going to be the last gosh darn one I find, isn't it? Ah, 72. I had two left. Look at that. That is my luck. All right, let's put these two back in here. Put that in there. Back over here. Thread these into the carburetor, main body. Or, uh, well, not main body, but... Uh, 
metering block. Let's see if I can get both of them in here. Yes. No. I am not ambidextrous. Although I am right handed. And my left hand is doing a better damn job. What the hell? Okay, here we go. You're getting to see all this in real time. Isn't that special? See, this is what I'm talking about right here. Just a pain in the butt. I need a tunnel ram. I need to get the carburetors up out of here. I want to be able to work on my carburetors without even taking off the hood. Okay, then I need this, need that. You paying attention, sweetie? Yeah. Okay, good. Need that back in there. Gotta make sure that these gaskets are getting on. Like this one doesn't have the gasket because the gasket's stuck in there. Well, bam. Do these bottom ones. And that one. And my dextrous again. This time it worked. Look at that. Okay. Tighten me back up then. Yep, yep, yep. torque these things down too much at one time there. Just kind of snug them up. Okay, let's give that a shot. So, we are at a stoplight right there. There we are. Look at that over 
look like that. It like it's falling. Okay, well, I mean, that's all the time I have left because of, you know, she she's getting impatient with 
me and my constant tuning here, aren't you? Yeah. So, mixed results, right? We upped the jet size a bit. It still feels a little bit too lean right off the hit, but too rich across the actual acceleration. Because I lowered the pump shot from 35 to 31 in the primary. The bog off the line got worse, but the actual acceleration got better. So, you know, just mix match tuning stuff. But for now, that's our baseline, and we can actually go from there when I have more time. Uh, that's it for now. I'll catch you next time. You, you gonna say I'll catch you next time? I'll catch you next time. Perfect. <laughs>